okay, take three to see if I can get through this without Fed posting. If I can't, I'm just going to give up the video and I'll do it on Rumble and Odyssey. Very difficult to uh, to go through and discuss all these uh, these people in Hollywood, and Nickelodeon types, the Disney Disney uh, you know Disney kids types without you know without saying what should be done to them. Um, so Natalie Portman and the uh, the people in Hollywood who have a prurient interest in uh, in kids. So she was a child actor. Uh, and she was asked if kids should get into Hollywood as an adult. She's, you know, in her 40s now. She goes, no, of course not. Keep your kids away from the, the Weinsteins and the, the Disney kids producers. And Dan Schneider, Nickelodeon, who was fired in 2018 for doing things like asking for massages. And he goes, oh, I was in a public area. Yeah, that kind of makes it, I mean, that's, it's not, it doesn't make it worse, but it's, you were kind of like, that feels like part of the humiliation ritual where you're doing it publicly to kind of flex on how powerful you are or how, how this sickness is just in everything in throughout Hollywood where this kind of, uh, some of the scenes, uh, Schneider did for, um, for Nickelodeon, uh, had like squirt bottles and kids and, Kids were positioned. You can look and find the photos, and you you look at it and you just glance at it. You're like, yes, yeah, but what the? I mean, that's where the Fed posting comes in. And you just want to carpet, you know, carpet bomb the whole thing, really, and just you know, remove Hollywood uh, from this mortal coil. It'd be it'd, to the point where it's better off just not not having Hollywood. So the thing is, what Dan Schneider was kind of so weird about that is he was fired from Nickelodeon in 2018, but. He had turned, he had made them so much money, he had turned them from a small uh, company into this multi billion dollar company. He was a, he, uh, everything, you know, what he touched turned to gold. She so goes, for them to, and he was investigated and they were investigated for, for a decade, right? But for them to fire him in 2018 after he had made them billions of dollars means that it was more dangerous to keep him around and they had to get rid of him, even though he was so wildly successful. Um, and also kind of makes me wonder um they knew what was going on for a long time they let this go on for several years because they were making billions of dollars because he was kind of the kingmaker anyway so hollywood is the source of evil if you're looking for people to abuse kids it would start in hollywood you'd go directly to the disney uh, kids club stuff with the you know back in the 90s we're Britney Spears and uh, who's that other singer out there? And then you go to Nickelodeon and you just look for anyone working around kids. And at this point, if you're a parent bringing your kids to Hollywood, it, you're just admitting that you're comfortable pimping them out for a few dollars and some fame, which uh, for a lot of people, the fame is is what really gets them going. I mean, you can look on Twitter and look at the engagement farming that the, those people are, are getting. Um, so at this point... If you're a parent, um, it's kind of on you. And the thing is, some of the parents are deeply mentally ill themselves. Who's that kid with the YouTube channel where the parents put the kid on display? I think it was a learning channel. And you think, oh, seems like, was the learning channel taken over by lizard people? So they looked around for a family who was desperate enough for fame and they were willing to abuse their kid and destroy uh, the kid's life so they could get some measure of fame. I don't know if I can what pronouns I have to use on YouTube if they're strict uh, or, or not. Anyway, so so the goal of the demons in Hollywood, and they really are, it is okay to think of them as demons, um, is to sexualize kids. They've been telling people this the whole time for a long time. You know, decades ago, it was, it was maybe like you just didn't, th you thought maybe some of the things they were doing was were innocent or just like you were viewing it the wrong way or something, but it just got more and more um, blatant, obvious about some of the some of the ways they're posing kids to the point of the Nickelodeon stuff, where even some of the articles that we're talking about it, they're describing the scenes, but they're not showing the images. And I, I saw some of the images myself, like. Um, that's where the Fed posting, because you see these images and you're like, ah, wow, wow, I know what should be done, but you just can't really go into it. And you go, how is this allowed? How many, how many people were on the set watching this and how many the parents watched this and how was this allowed to go on for so long? Uh, it just, uh, and with kids, you know, it's like the, there were adult scenes. The kids were like on couches and they're, they're posed in poses and squirt bottles and just like very, very obvious 
And, uh, you know, there's people on set and editors and producers who are all watching this and all giving it the thumbs up. And that's where, you know, you just want to um, uh, nuke it from orbit, so to speak. The thing is, uh, Cuties with, the, was it Netflix? Um, that was just the icing on the cake. These people tell you, and the, the, the really effed up thing with Cuties when that came out a few years ago is the reviewers who were on board with it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. The world would be better off um if we could change hollywood and these people um they tell you they're monsters they're not shy about it they absolutely are successfully moving the window to get people to accept viewing kids as these sort of epstein objects so natalie portman was 13 when she was in the professional in 94 and there were scenes in there the one scene i remember was her talking about uh, adult interests with the clerk at the hotel or something and the the Leon guy you know who's in his 40s had to come and had to come and like pull her away and tell the clerk she was just joking or something it was you know it was it was that was in 94 and that was like they were already that far advanced and she was 13 and she's in the movie and her parents let her do it so it says a whole lot about her parents but at least she's kind of breaking the cycle by She's not blaming her parents, but she's saying, "Yeah, keep your kids out of Hollywood. It's a bunch of you know, a bunch of Weinstein's in there." So that's Hollywood. And people who run Hollywood aren't people. After all that Disney Kids Club abuse comes out and the um, the Weinstein stuff, you you think, "Oh, hey, maybe it's time for Hollywood to self-regulate, so you can get the Dan Schneiders and the Weinstein's out of the industry, put something in place to protect people." But no. Alyssa Milano, I think she started the Me Too movement. They got some people out of the industry, and then they dropped the whole movement for some wacky reason because uh, it was 99% left-wing Democratic abusers who were... Uh, there was that politician, Franks or Franklin or something, and they're all posed with the Clintons and the uh, all, you know left-wing politicians and Schumer supporters, all this kind of stuff. It was very clearly the DNC and left-wing Hollywood because... You're talking about Hollywood. It's 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 almost all left wingers. So if you have abuse in Hollywood, which they clearly did, and you start doing Me Too or Times Up, you're gonna get left wingers. That's why Alyssa Milano is like she she. I mean, she didn't know what she was getting into. She's kind of left of the bell curve. You know what I mean? But she starts this thing out, and or she helps publicize. I don't know if she started it, and then it just it gets a lot of people. It keeps going, it's snowballing, and then it just it just dies. Somebody. Uh, Somebody pulled the strings behind the scene to say, yeah, we got to stop this because it's it's shining a light on Hollywood and the DNC and the Democrats and left-wing people in general. Um, so it was kind of was becoming obvious that the left and Hollywood had a kitty problem, and that was uniquely a, a left-wing thing, which it is. And they would rather protect left-wing Hollywood abusers than concede that the left has a problem in this uh Purian interests with those under the age of consent. And then they do. I mean, you've got like one branch of it is with this, this kind of like Epstein stuff, but then you have the whole BLT branch of it where they're they're doing the kids with the, the story hour type of stuff and they're getting the kids younger and younger to focus on adult behavior and how they identify and then put them on on drugs and surgery, this kind of stuff. That's that's a different branch of it, but it's it's even worse because it causes permanent changes to the kids. Honestly, we're really into um, we're really into Sodom and Gomorrah territory, uh, and you're, uh, you're not going. There's no political solution, no conventional political. I'm not not that posting. There's no conventional political solution. You're going to need IRL groups to pray and meditate on these kind of things because IRL is really a different psychological. Uh, step you take to form local political action action committees. Um, uh, you're just not going to solve this uh, digitally, and and it, you got to get past that external messiah complex of thinking that you're going to vote somebody in who's going to take charge. Absolutely not. They really don't want you forming local IRL political action committees, um, so they kind of defame it as much as possible. But the things that uh, the media in Hollywood don't want you to do are the things you really need to focus on because they're they're demons who you know have a prurient interest in a. And those under the age of majority. So um, you got you got the whole uh, the T of the BLT stuff. The Desmond is amazing. The Jazz uh, Kids on uh, the Learning Channel. And it's, it's obviously it's not the right wing doing that. So the left in general in Hollywood would rather just brush all that abuse under the rug. 
because they're monsters. People knew about Weinstein. You'd think they'd work with the FBI and SAG to do something. I almost worked in a joke about the um, Film Actors Guild, but I don't know if, if uh, YouTube will allow that. But they didn't care as long as you're getting paid. Here's the thing with Hollywood. There is no way to clean it up because it's too full of these... Um, I'll say monsters. They're the people in charge. For them to act as abusers is just normal. They internally can't regulate. They don't understand why they can't Weinstein women. They think it's normal. Like hearing Weinstein's phone conversations with people, like he really was a sociopath. And then you look at Hollywood and go, oh, Hollywood's full of sociopaths. To the extent there's no fixing it, you'd have to, you'd have to dismantle and deconstruct it all. And, um, and 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 um, just start over with people who are not these evil monsters, and obviously it's not going to happen. You can't make Hollywood moral when it's run by sociopaths who don't understand what the concept means. So the only solution is to spread the message of how evil Hollywood is, and just to keep kids out of out of it. And credit to Natalie Portman for at least being honest about this kind of stuff. And and you know she didn't go all the way in her comments, but she told you keep your kids out of Hollywood. Um, and, you know, maybe people should start thinking about why they're supporting Hollywood in any capacity w whatsoever. I mean, especially they tell you who they are. Netflix comes out with stuff and Disney comes out with stuff. Nickelodeon comes out with stuff. They all come out with stuff. They all have a, a defining moment, something shiny where it's like the mask off movement. Like, uh, I mean, the Nickelodeon, the Dan Schneider was was that was something. The Disney kids had had a mask off moment. And then um, I think it was Nickelodeon who had the Blues Clues cartoon where they had these uh, anthropomorphic uh, beavers and stuff, and they had uh, scars on the chest. I think be beavers actually have uh, four breasts, but in the cartoon they only have two because they don't want you to think they're humans. So they're telling the kids that females will remove their breasts to be who they really are. I mean, like, that's just monstrous territory. That's why it's such a challenge to get through this video. This is the third time, and I'm not going to make it again. I just, I just give up. I think this is okay for, for YouTube, and I just have to turn this off without saying what I really want. I mean, you know, you know, don't say anything in the comments. Like we're all on the same page. Don't get me wrong, but you know, definitely IRL stuff, form political action committees, legal, constitutionally protected activities. Whew. Like, comment, subscribe, and see you guys on Subscribe Star.